Supreme, if you're watching this, please, 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 just take all my money. Just take it all, please. This week, man, I need, I most likely will need the full collaboration. Normally, I don't need it. Like, I'm not greedy like that. Like, some people might say, whatever, man. But, uh, I really don't think I have ever needed more collaboration than this. Maybe besides, like, the pants and the vest. All right, it's not called the vest. Y'all have been roasting me about my review. Like, okay, sorry, it's not a vest. It's something else. It's called the, uh, Moto Racing Pro Frame Roost Deflector Vest. There you go. Moto vest. I don't know what the big difference is, but anyways, welcome back to another channel. Dear boys, you're truly time boy double O. And you know, we always say on retail race estimations, you guys will cop, you guys will have some good karma, some good luck spread to you if you just subscribe and comment and like this video. One, you have to be subscribed, that's like your ultimate luck. Then, if you want some more luck, like this video. And if you want even more luck, just comment down below and you'll be blessed for tomorrow. You know, like, why not? Don't hurt you, as I always say, it doesn't cost you nothing, really, just like one click of a button. You guys would be so kind. Thank you. And of course, I'm giving you guys some good information, so I feel like it's a win-win situation for both of us right here. This week, we're discussing the Supreme Fox collab, some lookbook items, and some lookbook items that just came out that are unseen from previously before. So pretty much, Fox collab is taking away this whole drop. Like, that's how it's going to have to be. Like, it's just blown. It definitely saved Supreme this season. If I have to say one collab that saved Supreme this season, it's definitely Fox Racing. Uh, even though Fox is like not a brand that some are, like a lot of people really rock, like something that reminds me of fifth grade when like kids would just rock that shit at school, like not knowing what it was. I think I might have had like one T-shirt from Fox. And the reason why I do need a lot of these items because one, I can use them for skiing. I'm actually gonna put these to use because I do ride ATVs up in New York. I don't ride dirt bikes, unfortunately. I do ride ATVs, as I said in my review. But before, let's go in and head into this retail and resale estimations because we're gonna start from least type to most type, and least resale to most resale. You know how we always do this, and it's gonna be extraordinary. So first up. You would know how we do. We start with the caps. We got the Bossed Corduroy Camp Cap. You got the Sean Witherspoon's like me right here. My little babies out here. Uh, you guys can definitely cop this. It just dropped in a few colorways. Man, I can't even see that well. Got to turn up that brightness because my future is so bright. We got the yellow, the green, the white, the black, the navy, and red. Pretty much nothing special. I'm not a big fan, but if you're trying to rock some hype with your Sean Witherspoon's, this is a great idea to cop. And then we got the denim camp cap dropping in five different colorways, which is black. Striped blue-ish, orange, black, striped, and jean colorway. You know, I'm, I'm personally feeling the jean one because one, you can match that with the uh, Levi Jordans that dropped. If you do have those, if you don't, then it's gonna be like, it's just a regular cam cap. Like I always say, cam caps are a are easy pass. See what I did there? Only, only a few people will know this depending where you live in the US, but it'll be an easy pass for me on all the caps. We'll move on to the Zip Twill Crusher cap. One of this matches with the overcoat that dropped uh, a few weeks ago. I honestly can't even remember. But it was like about four weeks ago. It was like a long trench coat that matches this Chinese. I call it the Chinese print. I mean, I just call it Chinese because I, it just looks kind of like a similar floor design that they have with the dragon. But again, it's dropping in five colorways. The black, the purple, the white, the Chinese print. Don't get offended, please. And then the green. That's an easy pass for me once again. And then we move on to another lookbook item, which will be the Devil Rayon shirt. No resell on this either. The It's pretty much just featuring some weird-ass devil on the back. Satan, it's literally Satan on the back with stars. I'm not a big fan of Satan myself, if I have to, I'm going to be honest. I don't like Satan. I'm not a huge fan of him. So I'm definitely not going to be copying this bad boy. But it's dropping in salmon, black, azul, blue. I just get so fluent in Spanish. And white. And then we move on to the cargo shorts. I feel like they've been dropping the same cargo shorts for the past like five weeks. So this is again dropping on another camo, army camo, light blue, white, maroon, and black. I mean, no one's gonna know this is Supreme, so it's gonna be zero resale. It's gonna sit on the site for a bit as well, like it did a few weeks ago. This is the all cotton cargo short. I mean, it's gonna be another easy pass for me. Then we move on to the bandana type stuff going on. Like, I'm honestly a fan kind of. But at the same time, I'm not because I do feel like it's a little bit too much, like too much of the extreme with the all over print. But dropping the bandana track pants, the tr bandana track jacket. First, we'll start with the pants. We're so dropping the same three colorways, which is black, red, and blue. It's, I wish it was kind of like the Paisley. It is kind of like the Paisley design, you know, that's so lucrative and elusive. Shout out to my boy Emmanuel. He has that shit sitting in his closet. He doesn't even wear it no more, but he definitely should. But that's a Paisley type design that's going on. Not exactly. Paisley's different, of course. They would have named that Paisley jacket and would have a lot more hype. 
if it was. But again, this will have no resale. This is going to be the red. It kind of reminds me of the red Louis Vuitton type thing going on. It's like the same type of jacket, but not leather in, in a sense. And it's going to be dropping matching colors with red, blue, and black. Then we'll move on to another lookbook item, unfortunately. This is probably even worse. This is probably right after the kit. On the list, we're going to go from cam caps to this Nen Y Tapestry Denim Chore Coat. Chore Coat, okay. First of all, what I have to say, the design of this coat is all right. It's almost like a lab coat, but really short, like the all-white version. I do like the graphic, however. If they put this graphic on a t-shirt with the Supreme box logo in the bottom left, bottom right, my New York boys and them cameras will be run and running up and down the block for these shirts, bro, I'm telling you. But of course, that's not gonna happen because Supreme doesn't do what we always want. And this will be an all-cotton 13 ounce denim with tapestry patch on back, button front closure with chest and hand patch pockets. So, resale that shit's gonna be zero as well. Nothing crazy. Move off to the Heather Stripe top. I'm, I'm we're gonna say first though. One, I do like the graphic of the Supreme Gons, the Gons logo. It's mostly gonna be embroidered or a patch. I do like the Stripe tee, but the only thing I'm worried about is the retail on this baby is gonna be expensive because that's how the over, like the blue camo shirt was expensive week one, and like all this type of like Stripe stuff. Like you can tell it's gonna be better quality. It's normally around seventy-eight to eighty-eight dollars. But, you know, with me, I'm going to spot 300 something, below 300 somethings. Um, I caught that massive L. <laughs> Man. Which is unfortunate, but you know, we can't always, we can't always go what we want. You know, that's what happens. Move on to the total, tonal embroidery top. I'm not going to go into the colorways. There's a bunch of colorways, and it's going to be zero resale as well, unless you cup a small, mate, not even. I don't even think smalls are resold that well because of the fact it's just a normal ass t-shirt. Tonal embroidery top, it's tonal one. And the only good thing, it's embroidered. So I like the embroidery. The quality is a lot better. It feels a lot better, not as sticky as we are in the summer. You know, when you sweat out here in the humidity of New Jersey, man. Jersey boys, you know the pain that we all feeling lately. We'll move on to the another <laughs> lookbook item. It's a logo piping hat a zip sweatshirt. Honestly, not a lot of hype behind it. Nothing crazy. It literally just... I don't even know if it's, yeah, it does say Supreme in it, but not even in a box. Like, you could have put it in, like, a black box. Like, come on. So, it could say it's a box logo. But, no, they didn't. It's just a cotton fleece. Normal action. Zero resale on that as well. Next up, we move on to the checker panel crew neck that is actually seen not by a lot of people because it just came out recently. I don't even know if I have a picture of it, but I'll not edit it, but it'll just be a normal picture. Pretty much, it's going to match the Hanes and the tagless tees that dropped. This will be dropping in the checkered type design as well, just going across the chest. I see kids around my campus <laughs> rocking this checkered shit like crazy. No, no cap. No cap. Kids really rocking this checkered shit in my school, like the checkered tees. And oh my God. I'm just like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why are you rocking that? Like, I'm not a big fan of the checkered thing. You look like you're about to get some chest. You look like you're about to get played by your girl. No said about that. No reason on that either, in my opinion. I definitely know it's not going to have no reason, so I ain't going for that. Okay, retails though. I did forget to mention retails. My apologies. I do have them on here. And they're also on my Instagram if you guys want to check them out more in detail. So the Supreme Track Jacket will be 198. Supreme Track Pants will be 178. The Cargo Pants will be 148. The Zipline Sweatshirt will be 158. 168 for the New York Denim Chord Coat. The Oh, I also forgot to mention the Jet Sleeve Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt. This is probably the most hyped item out of the lookbook items, I would have to say. One, because it says Supreme look along the chest very nicely. However, it does seem to be like a reflective type design, not really embroidered. I mean, it does look like to be a patch. Actually, it might be embroidered. I can't even tell with the lighting on this. But I would personally cop the, probably the black, the purple. No, the navy is probably the best for me, in my opinion. This is a zip-up, though. As I said before, they don't drop a lot of zip-ups this season. One, because it's summer, no one's going to rock them. And two, because they just don't drop a lot of zip-ups. And those will be retained for $158. The bucket hat will be dropping from $56. Uh, the striped tee will be dropping uh, estimated $98 actually. And these are just estimated that I wrote. Not guaranteed. This is just what I'm going around off. Other people, what they said, and another source. Then the rayon shirt will be $118. And the total embossed logo, embroidered logo will be $78. I memorized the names of all these items right up in the dome. Kicking it from the dome, as my boy Tabasco Sweet would say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, drum roll, please. <laughs> Supreme Fox Racing Collaboration is what we got going down. Oh man, the most fire collab ever. All right, we gotta go through this quick, 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 because I know y'all just wanna hear return results estimations. So first up, we got the handlebars, the Moto Hand Grip Bars, if you guys wanna say pronounced correctly. Acid green, red, and black. I'll personally go for red. I'm going for red pretty much everything besides two items, as I said before as well. Then we'll move on to the Fox Racing Pro Frame Ro Roost Deflector Vest. I'm using all proper names for you people now, just because you guys wanted to. Uh, by that way, handlebars are expected to be eighteen dollars, and this this best of yours is about to be uh, is about to be around 
$268, which is pretty pricey, but it is a fire piece in my opinion. I would definitely cop the red. Sizing is going to be a bit weird in my opinion because I don't really I don't really have motocross gear. I just ride ATVs and go uh, snowboarding. This will still be like some dope protection. You know, you, it's probably way too excessive, but you know, if you're trying to rock it, you're trying to rock it. Then move on to the Supreme Fox Racing Emoto pants. These pants will be dropping for $198, which is quite expensive, but then again, it is the Moto pants, so I'm assuming they'll be maybe padded, maybe not, but they'll be a different quality for sure than they normally use. Then we'll go ahead with the matching jersey. This jersey will be the Moto jersey top, dropping in red, acid green, and blue, and black colorways. I'm hoping they'll have some of this in stock in the store, though. Like, if they don't, it's really going to be bad. It's going to get me so aggravated. This top will be dropping in multiple color colorways. I'll probably go for red again. But the only time I would go for acid green is one for the... Pretty much for the goggles. Yes, the goggles. You were calling me for the goggles. They're actually called View Goggles. Oh, and talk about the goggles right now. The goggles are the most hyped. Number one item to go for this week, which I'm definitely going to be trying to. Everyone, including your mother, though, is definitely going to be going for these items. Like, it's going to be unfortunate. But yes, and the retail on this will be around $168. That's based on the retails that the site actually has, like Fox Racing. And just inflate it a little bit because that's what Supreme Road does because it is a Supreme collaboration. And I would definitely go for red. It's going to be most hype, but I don't really like red personally. I would definitely go for a different colorway myself. But I know everyone's going to want red. So to resell, go for red. And let me just cut mine, please. please. We got the Supreme Fox Racing Bomber LT gloves. All the proper names for you guys once again. We got acid green and red, red and black. I would definitely just go for red again. Clean resell on this retail run. This is going to be around, no, $48. What am I saying? $48 because they are racing gloves. Therefore, they'll be padded probably and be a little bit more expensive. So you can't rock these in the winter. I'm assuming it'll also be really thin. So just like the summer time vibe when you go racing with your little dirt bikes. Move on to the Supreme Fox Racing V2 helmet. This helmet is absolutely clean as hell. They're definitely not going to be dropping one of these for a while. They haven't dropped one since Fall Winter 16. Before that, they never dropped a helmet before at all. Estimated retail on this is going to be probably the, it's going to be the most expensive item for $398. One, because it is a thick-ass helmet. And two, because it is a helmet made by Supreme. I would definitely be going for most resale on this. I'm assuming it will be on the red one. Probably you can make $100, $150. But then you're going to have to think about the buyer. The buyer, like you're going to save $400, right? It's retail with shipping, no tax. Then you also think about what the buyer is going to be willing to spend. You got to think the buyers are very limited on this because a lot of people don't actually ride motocross. So that's the only issue for resale, but there's still going to be people buying it to collect. It's mainly a collector item. That is the full collaboration for Fox. So number one item to go for this week is the gloves. Not the gloves. It's the, definitely the goggles and then the helmet and then the handlebars for low, low risk, low risk. You go for low risk though if you're not trying to spend money because it is a risky type thing. Uh, not really. You'll definitely make money on this collab. So let me know what you guys are going for. Thank you guys for subscribing, liking, slash commenting. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed my notes. Photoshop skills, they were a little bit better this time, I hope. Good luck tomorrow. I'll catch you guys with the live cop. Peace.